I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at video games and franchises that feature the strongest characterization. I have nothing more to hide. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long. So, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Life is Strange Where am I? What's happening? In the seaside town of Arcadia Bay, Max Caulfield discovers she has the ability to rewind time after experiencing a disastrous vision. With her newfound power, she saves the lives of two of her friends and works to uncover a murder conspiracy. Although the game progresses based on player choice and Max can use her ability to undo certain decisions, the characters never fail to be captivating. We feel for the sensitive Max as she confronts each dark encounter, and her relationship with the far more outspoken Chloe is often as compelling as the central mystery, if not more so. Immensely positive reception to their development led to several sequels, but there's nothing quite like the first. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I... I don't want to do this. Metal Gear series. You quit the unit. Me? <laughs> I never gave up on you. The Metal Gear series is defined by espionage and politics, with plenty of shady characters both good and evil. So, naturally, its character development is pretty strong. With the move to 3D gaming, Hideo Kojima injected cinematic DNA into Metal Gear Solid, making it more character-driven than most games at the time. As the plots grew more complex and the stakes rose higher, players only grew more enraptured by its heroes and villains. Ties of loyalty, love, and hatred are carried between each installment, sometimes spanning decades, making for one of the most fleshed-out worlds in video games. Snake, let's try another doctor. It won't make any difference. The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. Most Zelda games keep things relatively simple, but the same can't be said about Majora's Mask. In the strange land of Termina, Link has three days to stop a cursed moon from crashing down and killing everyone. For a Nintendo game released in 2000, it has surprising depth when it comes to its characters. Most NPCs keep specific schedules across the three-day loop, which change depending on when and if you help them. This entry has been praised for showcasing themes of grief, love, family, sacrifice, and uncertainty, which are all on tremendous display within the troubles and desires of its characters. Never had we wanted to save a helpless town so badly. Persona 5. Damn brat! I'll sue! There are a handful of reasons that Persona 5 became the most popular entry in the franchise so quickly, and its wonderful character development is one of them. Players control Joker, a high schooler who moves to a new town. Upon discovering he has special powers, he forms a vigilante group with others like him. While Joker is a silent protagonist whose personality is based on your decisions, Every other character is so deep they practically leap out of your screen. Whether it's the overly confident, cat-like Morgana, the roguish Ryuji, the troubled Futaba, or literally any other team member, these characters are all captivating and flawed in their own unique way. This evolving team dynamic is one of the best in any modern JRPG. You're right. Let's just call it a hidden gem. Final Fantasy VII. Despite being released more than two decades ago, Final Fantasy VII is thought by many to be the crown jewel of the series. Even gamers who have never played it know the names of Cloud, Sephiroth, Tifa, and Aerith. The plot focuses on a group of eco-terrorists striving to stop the vile Shinra Corporation from using the planet's essence as an energy source. Cloud, with his layers of PTSD from being a genetically engineered soldier, is an engrossing protagonist. Aerith's compassion for others was only matched by her adorable bubbly personality, 
and Sephiroth's atrocities ensured he'd remain one of gaming's best villains for years to come. No matter where the focus was, players were enthralled. The Walking Dead series. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought. Like Life is Strange, events in Telltale's Walking Dead series depend on the player's decisions. But no matter what, you'll be confronted by engaging villains, horrific encounters, and charming allies that you really shouldn't get attached to. Each season focuses on Clementine, a young girl who must grow up in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. From her tragic companionship with Lee in the first season, to her love and fierce protection of AJ in later ones, we were thrilled and saddened to experience her story. No matter which decisions you made, the writing and character development was always superb. Though the studio essentially shut down in 2018, we were incredibly grateful Clementine's story was allowed to finish. Mass Effect series. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I Being a ridiculously in-depth RPG with a ton of characters that carries your decisions from game to game, you best believe Mass Effect has some pretty strong character development. Set in a far-off future where the entire Milky Way galaxy has been colonized, players controlled Commander Shepard in his fight to stop the return of ancient evil machines called Reapers. Part political thriller, part sci-fi adventure, players were immediately sucked into its world. Which characters joined your cause and how they acted towards you depended on your choices in vastly branching dialogue wheels. You could be as evil or as righteous as you wanted, but the supporting characters never failed to enchant us. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morton. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to a genophage modification project. God of War. I found some. Get in the boat, boy. We love ripping apart monsters and deities in the original trilogy, but it wasn't until Kratos traveled to the Norse realm where characterization took center stage. With his new love dead, the god of war and his son set out to fulfill her final wish. Although, the journey was anything but a smooth one. Kratos' strained relationship with Atreus was surprisingly personal, beautifully showcasing his failures as a father while dealing with his own trauma. Atreus' own struggle of inadequacy in his father's eyes and the responsibility of his godhood was also expertly explored. Even the comedic relief characters and villains brought more layers to how family can both lift us up or pull us down. Here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter. And yet you hide out here in the woods. Red Dead series. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? Although the series began with Red Dead Revolver, Rockstar didn't truly transport us to the time of the Wild West until Red Dead Redemption. John Marston's hunt for members of his former gang to save his family is filled with characters dastardly, heroic, and all manner of in-between. Its prequel? Even more so. John got more development alongside new protagonist Arthur Morgan. It chronicled the last days of the Vanderlind gang preparing for a final heist, as members dealt with an informer, the government, and other gangs. The series has been praised for its accurate portrayal of the time period, but it was the misfit characters who kept us coming back. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. The Last of Us. Listen to me, I know this hurts. You're gonna be okay, baby, stay with me. There are few releases in gaming history that can match the impact of The Last of Us. While the gameplay is thrilling, the world is extremely detailed, and the enemies are the stuff of nightmares, it's the characters that have led to its legacy. Joel is a deeply flawed and broken protagonist, 
doing whatever it takes to survive in a hate-filled world. Ellie, on the other hand, is bursting with life, whether she be telling us corny jokes or refusing to back down from authority and villains alike. And that's just the main characters. Every supportive role feels just as tangible and realistic such as the angry loner Bill, or the emotionally devastating brothers Sam and Hendry. No game characters have felt as fleshed out as those here. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear.